people attach meaning to symbols and act according to the interpretations they perceive from the symbols. Symbols can be our actions, objects, or the words that we utter when we are interacting with other people that make sense in the social world. This is the symbolic interaction theory originated from Max Weber's assertion but was introduced by George Med to American sociology in the 1920s. We, the educators and the school, plays a big role in shaping our students, in shaping the future. That is why it's very important to imply the symbolic interactionist theory as this teaches and guides every teacher and students how to react or send symbols to people while interacting that affects our response and actions towards the world. Because we act based on how we perceive symbols. In this theory, symbols may have different meanings to different people. Especially inside the room, the usage of language or words which is the predominant symbol we use in the teaching profession. One word can either create or break a student's confidence, their trust in themselves, and as well as their trust to their teacher. So, it's better to always have positive symbols. We, the educators, are expected to look not just to one, but to all students we are handling. As a teacher, in amplifying this theory, we have to be understanding, sensitive, and flexible teacher who can adjust and go with the students while achieving the goal of transmitting reliable information, love, and trust in reciprocal, which is, I believe, a big help for them to become competent individuals. With the implication of this theory in education, it can make our community become interactive and productive now and in the future that makes sense in the social world. This can be achieved if teachers and students see the importance of giving right symbols that cultivate trust, confidence, love, and respect to everyone that can be all applied outside and in real-life situations. So, you may be a teacher or a student, remember that your symbol matters.